Hi everyone, welcome to my senior dorm room. This is by far my favorite room of my college career and I'm really excited to show you how I sort of decorate the space and made it more mine. Living in a dorm away from home is already stressful enough as it is, so I tried to make it as safe and comfortable and cozy as possible while also making sure it's pretty functional and allows me to do all the things I need to do. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm very happy with my room and I'm sad to leave it in a week or so, but I hope you enjoy this final room tour. So this is the first thing that I see when I enter my room and it's a collection of postcards and tickets that I've collected over the past year. And then I also have this rug that I've kept since freshman year and it goes really well with the general color scheme of my room. And this is my wooden wardrobe. I have some little cute postcards up front and then it opens like this. And yeah, there's an IKEA storage organizer to help add some space and then these hooks to add bags and hats on. I feel like I've actually been able to do so much with this tiny space and a pro tip for that is to change your clothes out every season. This is my dresser and drawer area and I have all my uh, makeup and skincare at the top here with some favorite products. I love this romance lip and yeah I use this every day just getting ready in the mornings. Here's the dresser that came with the room. It holds things like pants or pajamas, or my most important drawer of all my teas. Next we have my desk area. I study here basically every day, so it's really important that it's cozy and functional. I have this poster from Italy up above to fill the space, and my desk itself is pretty simple. I have my laptop and lamp, and this keyboard is so nice, along with the laptop stand for a more ergonomic setup for long study sessions. I just wanted to show y'all some of the trinkets I have up here, including this Quokka stress ball that I love. So in these drawers that came with the desk, I have stationery and other random little trinkets and knickknacks. Something that helps is creating these boxes with cardboard boxes lying around just to hold pills and bottles and things like that. Next we have the bed slash window nook of this room, which is my favorite part of it and I really love the sunlight that comes in here. If you can check the direction that your room faces before you choose it, I'd really recommend doing that. And I love this nook um, that has books and plants and a sun catcher that I got as a gift for Christmas. And it looks out onto this really nice road, um, very cozy, usually just bikes and people walking going by like this. And yeah, I love just sitting here and reading and watching the sun come through and I have some postcards on the side just to make it cozier and this beautiful croissant jelly cat that I love. Next on the wall above my bed, I have another collage of postcards and little art pieces and photos. I like to collect these mostly when I travel, so some of these are from Korea, others are from London and Italy. And one of the newest additions is this amazing calendar I got last winter. Lastly, I also keep these photos of friends and family near my bed. And under my bed is a bit of a mess, but I have a snack drawer and a suitcase full of clothes. And the snack drawer has honestly been a godsend. I keep breakfast stuff and snacks in here, and also a fridge where I keep fruit, yogurt, um, drinks, things like that. And the last part of my room is this shelf that I've put in the middle right behind my desk. And I originally didn't love the positioning of this, but I've come to like it a lot. I have some essentials like silverware or journals and books that I read that also act as a bit of decor. One thing I'm very proud of is that as a literature major, I haven't collected too many books. This nook is so great for setting a cozy mood at night with a speaker and this amazing sort of color changing lamp I found at Home Depot. And I also have some teas up here with my kettle and this very cute print. As you can probably tell by now, I drink tea almost every day, so I have this extra cup as well. Last, I have this really nice blue organizer from Hay, and it just holds all of my big toiletries just to keep my room from getting too cluttered. And to end the tour is a poster of my favorite drama that I keep by my door just to make me happy whenever I enter the room. 
so that's it for my room tour and i'm just about to start packing up before i graduate while i hope to probably never live in a dorm again i think i'm just so grateful for this room and this year you know there was a lot of stuff going on it was a busy kind of slog of a year and i spent so much time just studying recuperating getting ready hanging out in this room um and yeah it makes it really sad to leave i hope this inspires you if you're going to college or just living on your own for the first time um to invest just a little bit of time and energy into making your space feel really safe and comfortable and even if you're packing up at the end of the year i feel like you'll appreciate it so much when you're living there yeah let me know what your favorite part of this room was down below and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching